If you haven't been living under the rug for the past week or so, you most likely know that YOLO V8 is out. It is the latest iteration of YOLO algorithm, this time released by Ultralytics team, the company behind YOLO V3 and YOLO V5. We already have two videos about this model at Roboflow channel. The first one done by Jacob, where he went deep into the changes that were introduced in YOLO V8. The second one done by myself. Done by me where I showed you guys how to train YOLO V8 object detection model on custom dataset. This time we'll do a little bit of the same, but instead of training object detection, we will train instance segmentation model. I will not go deep into the API changes in this video. So if you want to learn more about YOLO V8, make sure to watch those two previous videos. The links to them are in the description below and in the card in top right corner. So without further ado, let's jump into the code and let's train some models. As usual, we start our journey in Roboflow Notebooks repository, where we store all the code we use in our tutorials. And at the very top, we have three fresh notebooks related to YOLO V8. This time we are going for instance segmentation. So the second one from the top. So let's open that in Google Colab. And after that is done, let's create a copy of that notebook and save it on our Google Drive. That can take a few seconds to do. We can now close the original notebook. And before we start, let's go into the runtime, change runtime type and confirm that we are using the GPU accelerated version of the notebook. In my case, that's exactly where we are. So I can just close the notebook and I'm pretty much ready to go. Let me just increase the font size a bit so you would have easier time following my steps over here. We can scroll a little bit lower to the first cell. That's NVIDIA SMI command. It is here only to make sure that when the actual runtime starts, we will have access to the GPU. And indeed is the case. We have Tesla T4 at our disposal. So we can scroll a little bit lower once again, create this helper constant called home that will point to our home directory. It is here to make it easier for us to manage data sets and images and weights paths. Cool. Now we should be ready to install the actual Ultralytics PIP package that contains YOLO V8 model. There are two ways to do that. The first way is to do it via PIP. The second one is to clone the repository and install from source. The PIP way is easier. So that's what we will be doing. But if you feel that you want to try the second option, uh, the command to do that is in a cell below. So just to confirm that the installation went properly, Let's import YOLO from Ultralytics. That wouldn't work if the installation would fail, but in our case it works. So far so good. So let's quickly test YOLO V8 segmentation model in action. We will use pre-trained model that was trained on Coco dataset and run it on one of my own images. We will do it in two ways. Uh, first using CLI and second using SDK. That line is pretty much okay. I will just use bigger model. Let's run it. That will download the image, download the weights, load weights into the memory and then run the model on my image. The weights are quite heavy because I selected X model, which is, I believe, the largest one. But I really want to see true potential of that model. I don't want to use S just yet. Okay, so the model just inferred and saved the results. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the result from the model. Once again, I used extra large model. So on a smaller model, that result may differ. In fact, let's run the same command, but with different model. This time, let's say YOLO S and compare the accuracy that we can expect. It's pretty easy. We just need to copy this line, paste it here and change the type of the model. Obviously, once again, the model needs to get downloaded, but those weights should be a lot lighter. Yeah, the model is already downloaded and the inference is done. Now we just need to copy this line, paste it here uh, and change the name of the directory because it's most likely named like predict2. And here it is, yeah? So 
it's clear that the difference in accuracy is significant when it comes to those different models. Uh, in previous image, I'm pretty fine with the results. Obviously, larger segmentation model most likely would be able to pick up that part of the backpack or wouldn't classify that part of the image as person. But all around, it's pretty accurate. On the other hand, this model, most of everything that was detected got classified as a person. Let's take a look at the speed. So the first model, the larger one, inferred in 61 milliseconds, the smaller one in 22. So that's also a difference. Speed of detection is like three times larger with the first one. Okay, let's jump into training. So I was scrolling through Universe, looking for some cool data set that we can use for that purpose. And there is one that I really like, Coral Segmentation 4. Apparently it has over 4,000 images. That looks like a pretty cool candidate for us to use in our tutorial. Those segmentations look like somebody really put a lot of effort into making them. Let's start with clicking in download the dataset button. And now what we need to do is select the right format for instance segmentation. Let's go for YOLO V8, click continue, and the universe will generate code snippet that we can just copy and paste into the notebook and we should be good to go. That dataset is pretty large, over 4K images. So the zipping uh, takes a little bit of time, but we should be ready to go in just a second. Now, like I said, we can just copy that and go back to our notebook. So we're back in the notebook. I'm just pasting this here. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the full snippet because it contains my API key. It is hidden in the UI, but the moment I paste it here in the cell, it gets human readable, visible. Now I just click shift enter. What is happening is the RoboFlow pip package is being installed, that's first. And second of all, the data set is being downloaded. Depending on the size of a data set, the resolution of the images and all other factors, your internet connection, the downloading part may of course take longer or shorter. Oof. The data set is finally downloaded, so we are ready for the moment that everybody was waiting for, which is the training of the actual model. The next cell contains pretty much ready to use command, but I will adjust a few hyperparameters just for the sake of explaining what do they mean. So first of all, we will not wait for 100 epochs for that model to train. Let's make it 25. I just don't want to wait like five hours for the model to complete training. However, I will maybe use a little bit larger version of the model, let's say medium one, and smaller input resolution. Those changes may cancel each other out. Uh, input resolution has the influence on the quality and accuracy, and I selected smaller value, so that may be deteriorating. However, it will be training faster, and larger and deeper network may increase the accuracy, we'll see. Usually you would train with different uh, settings and compare the accuracy at the end. We'll just train a single version. As usual, shift enter. YOLO V8 will download the model at the very beginning. And after that, load the checkpoint, create the data loaders, and we will start training. Yeah, the first epoch just started. Now you can just sit back, relax, drink some coffee. We'll be back after the training completes. I just don't want to wait like five hours for the model to complete training. Yeah, it's 1.30 in the morning and I started the training like at 11 p.m. So yeah, it wasn't five hours, but it also wasn't like 15 minutes either. Finally, the training is completed and we can evaluate the model. Great. So the first thing that we'll be doing is to take a look at the content of the training directory. The weights are here, so everything is fine. We can take a look at the confusion metrics, looking surprisingly good, especially for 4,000 image data set. Well, let's take a look at the charts that were produced during the training. The confusion metrics looks good and the 
charts for box loss and segmentation loss also tend to suggest that we could even train the model longer and get even better results. Cool. Okay, in that case, let's validate first and then do some inference on example images. Here we just do shift enter and wait a little bit because the data set is quite large. I was, I was stressed for a second, but it was a honest mistake. I just messed up the weights path. That should work, hopefully. That's a relief. I would be really unhappy. Okay, we get some errors. Talking something about fonts, this just shows you how unpolished Yellow V8 is still. There are plenty of bugs, but we should be fine. Maybe we will not get some charts, but I really don't care that much about the charts. In my case, it's mostly about having the MAP and other metrics displayed on the screen. It's good enough for me. And the last thing is the inference on test set. I'm displaying some example images. I would really like to see that model in action. Yeah, it works. 400 images, we should be done in no time. Let's take a look. Awesome, really awesome. I love the results. Yeah, the model looks amazing, amazing. At least I'm happy that it works. <laughs> That's all for today. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more YOLO V8 content coming to this channel soon. I guess we have at least two more videos that we want to release. But you can always let us know in the comments and in the discussion section in Roboflow Notebooks repository what videos would you like to see next. We are always there answering your questions, so give it a star, give it a try, and see you there. My name was Peter. Bye.